So welcome to the Nerd Computational Center. In this episode of The Nerd Is In, I'm going to show you how to use a simple online C++ compiler at onlinegdb.com. So we can do the KISS thing. Keep it simple, stupid. Because why overkill if you're just doing C in, C out, simple C++ applications? So let's take a look. So to get into the online C++ compiler, you want to search for online GDB C++. My search results here, the top two links, this will bring us to the compiler, this top link, but not in the C++ language. If you look at the second link, look at the URL here. It's got slash online underscore CPP underscore debugger. This will bring us into C++. Let me show you the problem with this one. I'll open the top one here and go into it. And this is the online GDB compiler, but it has given me a hello world program that is C code, not C++. Printf is C code. So I need to come over here. It's not a problem. I got to come over here and change my language, pick my language, C++, and, but I've still got C code here. So now what I'd want to do is go get my program and grab it, open it up. Now, if I double click on this, it's going to open it in Visual Studio, which I don't want. So I'm going to right click and say, open with notepad. Here's my program. I'm going to click, drag, select it, and can uh, copy it, control C, the good old Windows control C. I'm going to grab all this code and delete it, right click, paste. So now I have a hello world that's doing C out. Now, once you're in here, you can do all your editing, you can type all your code, and then you hit the run button. If you have errors, it will show you your errors, and then you can fix them. But you see right here, my wonderful program said, Hello world. Isn't that great? Now, if I was to make a mistake, like a common mistake, leaving off a semicolon, try to run it, I'm going to get a compiler error. I'm going to get a syntax error. So down here, it says expected semicolon before return, and it's telling me that error is on line. It's telling me the error is on line 10. Well, the error is really right here on line 8 because I've got to have a semicolon before the next line of code. Now, in C++, honestly, I could put the semicolon right there. It doesn't care, but it doesn't look good. We always put the semicolon at the end of the line. Now, let me grab another project here that I have already open so we get a little bit more code involved. And uh, I'm going to click, just click, drag, select this, and copy. Replace this code. So I've got a little bit more code on the screen right now. And say as you're doing your code, you're sloppy. You know, you've got everything on the left margin. And it just doesn't look nice. Well, they have a beautify button right here, which will make everything be indented and aligned nicely. Now, I don't the one thing I don't like about how it beautifies is I like to have int main on one line like that rather than on a separate line. But you can see it looks pretty good. That's a nice little button. Now, as far as saving, you would have to create an account to be able to save your work. Uh, and then I believe you could go to my projects. I never do that. I just select all my code, copy it, then I go to Notepad, paste it into Notepad, and save my Notepad where I know where it is. That's the easiest thing. That's the KISS. Keep it simple. Silly. Or stupid. Whichever you want. So you got Run here. In a later video, I'll show you how to debug and look at what's going on with your program. Of course, here's the Save button. If I hit it, it says I've got to log in with one of these before I can do that. I'm not going to do that. And 
I'll also show you in a later video how you could add a new file. Like if you had a data file, if you're reading from a file, you could open up a second file and paste your data in that, and it would read from that data file. So this is a great little online compiler just for if you're doing console code, C in, C out, not trying to do a Windows program with buttons and text boxes and labels and list boxes. This is not doing that, okay? This is just for your simple, I've got to write my chapter three C++ assignment. Thank <laughs> you.